Super Monkey is often considered as the worst tower in Balloon State Battles 2, but today we're going to prove all the haters wrong. Let's get it. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, everyone watching this, we're on the map Sands of Time today. We're going to I'm a Potato. I wonder if they're actually a potato, though. And um, we're going to strategy Darling Farm Super and Ocean Open. This is going to be a really fun one because this is a really interesting strategy, which I love to go. I go this strategy so often, guys, and it's really good, actually. Now, um, you both say, oh, Ryan, Super Monkey's a pretty bad tower. Which should I say? No, it's not, guys. No, it's not. I, in the Super Monkey hate, I'm starting a movement. Hashtag in the Super Monkey hate in the comment section down below. But it's not a terrible tower, in all honesty. It's not. But, um, yeah, we're going to start with my Ocean open right about here we want our ocean open in a spot where its range is going to basically be maximized so then um there's lots of super monkey spots to place it in because obviously you want your super monkeys buffed by the ocean open but super monkey is really good with dartling here because super monkey basically counters the ddt's which dartling struggles to it counters so right round 28 ceramics as well because you can just tech terror them that's really good against them and um helps against the omgs and stuff so it kind of covers some of dartling's weaknesses there well dartling obviously handles the early game and all the um super monkey's weaknesses so it's pretty good synergy right there Our farm down beautiful so we'll also need to upgrade to my um what's it called living coral here perfect perfecto and we'll be vibing so they're probably going druid sub farm here my guess would be druid sub farm would make the most sense here let's throw it in this living coral after these balloons okay there we go now i throw it down I wanted to wait because if I can keep this living coral up when the round ends, it's going to get extra pops, which I don't think it's actually going to happen here. No, it's not. Okay. This is the part where brambles on open is much better because I would be leaking like nothing right now if brambles on, if I had brambles on open, since brambles on open pops 50 balloons and living coral only pops 20 off release, but we're fine. We're fine. The the day. I'm not going to, I'm not going to complain about you ocean open. I brought you for a reason because of your buffs. So let's, let's, let's stop the ocean open hate. Send some pink balloons here. Trying to force a Lightning or a Druid of Wrath, if possible. The goal. We got their Druid chasing, which is really good here. We got their Druid chasing a little bit. Which is what we love to see. Because then that means it's going to be popping less balloons for us. For them, I mean. Alright. They got their Lightning up. Great, great, great. Continue sending the Spaced Balloons. They're sending me Spaced Whites, so I will need to get my, um... What's it called? Faster Barrel Spin here. We want this on Strong, probably, right? Strong is probably a good target option. Faster Barrel Spin has been acquired. So we should be fine against these White Balloons. Beautiful. I want to try to stall this round out as well. The problem is he has lightning on his druid, so the dru druid's going to be anti-stalling on their side, which is not good for me here. Not good for me. Let's get another farm down right there. Beautiful. But yeah, we're going to be playing pretty decently high eco, probably like 1500 or something. It's just going for, straight for the banana central route this game. We're going to be skipping the monkey wall street route this game, so you won't be seeing a monkey wall street from me, ladies and gentlemen. Unfortunately, you will not be seeing that. Two farms up. Nice. See if they send me yells. If they do, I'll have to get another dartling down. If not, then we'll chill and vibe on. Keep throwing down my um living coral once it comes around. Because we want to throw these down as early as possible so they can have time to build up. You know what I'm saying? They have time to build up every round. It's very important there. Alright, they got their third tier farm down. I'll get my banana plantation here in a little bit. And then after we get the banana plantation, we probably just have to start saving up for my hydro rocket pods. I can't really greed for many more farms here. Fortunately. That's how it be with dartling, guys. That's how it be with dartling. Alrighty, let's see if they send me region zebras. If they do, I'll have to get up another dartling. If not, then we'll greed on with my eco, which doesn't look like they're interested. Fair enough. We'll actually send them some zebra eco here, because we want to get our really high eco, and this is one way to do it. Zebra eco is pretty good. So, we'll send them some zebra balloons. Hopefully, this can force a druid of wrath. Yep, there we go. Nice. We don't need to get up a hydro pods against lead balloons, because we have ocean open to pop them. We'll have to get up next round if he does rush me. Doesn't look like they're rushing me, though. I'm going to go for another farm real quick we can afford it and now i'll go for my dartlings and them space rainbow eco you already know they got up their reactor that's great because i didn't even rush them and they got the reactor you know that's good that they end up getting that up without me having to rush over a th 1060 eco by the way look at our eco guys our eco is phenomenal right now another dartling down real quick in case he rushes we'll boost this All right, if he re-rushes, I get up a Rocket Storm. We're fine against that. Continue ecoing. Now you guys could say, oh, Ryan, you didn't have to use the Rocket Storm ability, so you didn't even need a Rocket Storm, to which I say, that is actually incorrect, ladies and gentlemen, because the Rocket Storm, when you upgrade to a Rocket Storm, it actually increases the damage output of the tower itself. So. 
the normal rocket pods wouldn't have defended that rush. Keep going to uh, till we had 1500 eco here, I think. Or should I go to 2k? 1500 is probably good. He's rushing me again, bro. This man with his rushes. It shouldn't even do anything. That was a pretty small rush, yeah. And I have a rocket storm, which a rocket storm is stronger than the normal rocket pod. So he needs to send even a bigger rush to force an ability. Because the rocket storm, when it shoots in a line at stuff, it pop, it makes four explosions. While the normal rocket pods only makes three. So it's more damage there. Should be fine against that. We had our living coral help us out. The anti-moab living coral. We got one more dartling for this one because that living coral power wasn't very big. Should be fine against these region rainbows as well. This guy's aggro is kind of crazy, not gonna lie. And we're good against all that. They are very, very aggressive. Very, very aggressive. Which I mean, I guess they should be against Super Monkey, but they don't want to sacrifice too much of their farms being aggressive, you know what I'm saying? They've sent me so many region rainbow rushes. All right, this sells for what, 1600? Because I want to sell for a banana research facility here soon. There we go, perfect. I also sell this for uh, another farm in a little bit. So this sells for, I need about 4,000. I want to use that ability after I um use the rocket storm so then the trees are less full. Do those eat them? Curious. I should eat those too, right? No, what the heck? Dude, these trees suck. Oban trees would have had that done and dandy, bro. Not gonna lie, Oban trees would have clutched that up so easily against two of those. Alright, we're fine though. But still, that was that was unfortunate. BFB shouldn't be much of an issue. All we do here is get up a Dark Knight. Strong. It looks like they're going for the Monkey Wall Street here. Well done. Ra that's round 22, by the way. That's a, that's a late Monkey Wall Street, guys. That's a late Monkey Wall Street. Okay, we're fine against the insides. I got a little scary, a little spooky, but we're good. The Ocean Open Totem and the Dark Knight stalling helped it out a lot. A, a lot. We should be able to get my round 23 Banana Central here, theoretically. Wait, oh, I miscalculated. I miscalculated, ladies and gentlemen. I thought I had another farm to sell, so I was $4,000 off. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. I have two boosts left. I really wouldn't want to use one, though. We're gonna get a Buckshot tech. This should be able to defend, I think, just these three things. Maybe I need a Rocket Storm. We'll see when it comes around. I might need a Rocket Storm if they send me purple layers as well. But Buckshot helps out a lot because Buckshot will blow back ceramics and then give me more, more, more time to pop everything. Oh no, that, that's a good defend. That's a good defend. Yeah, we're good there. We are solid there. That's how you defend that, ladies and gentlemen. It's really good because Buckshot misses a lot of its shots. That's one of its weaknesses. But Dark Knight, it will slow down all the ceramics a ton. So then Buckshot will knock them back, basically. And then you can deal with the ceramics really easily that way. If that makes sense. It's a pretty solid combination. We actually are out farming. Look at that. I, should, I didn't even realize I didn't have a banana central down. So we're in a really good spot here. We're in a really solid spot. See if they send me the DDTs. That's boost. That should have been on boost. If he re-rushes me, I can tech terror DDTs as well. Or get another Dark Knight. Another Dark Knight will actually defend DTs. He got his Banana Central finally. Well done. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Dude, this ability is insane. Come on, send me more. Send me more. I dare you. <laughs> Oh my gosh, bro. He didn't know about the tech terror. That's so funny. That's so funny. <laughs>